National Transportation Safety Board is ringing an alarm over drowsy driving. Safety officials believe it is just as big a threat as drunk driving. Jeff Pegues is here with a look at how this deadly problem affects nearly all Americans. Hello, Jeff. Good morning. Getting enough sleep at night isn't just about you, it's about keeping others safe on the roads. According to AAA, 83% of Americans believe drowsy drivers pose a threat to their personal safety. The NTSB is now trying to get to the root of the problem to prevent more fatalities. The person who recorded this video says the man driving the truck he's about to hit ran a red light because he was sleeping. Both drivers survived. Drowsy driving happens more than most people realize. Five years ago, Alex Noel was heading home to Norton, Massachusetts after a homecoming dance. He was struggling to keep his eyes open. Uh, and the next time I woke up, I was uh, half uh, I was half off the road, half on the road, so I jerked the wheel to one side to get back on the highway, and that uh, sent me into a roll. He was left temporarily paralyzed on his left side with a concussion and bruised lungs. According to AAA, 41% of motorists report falling asleep or nodding off while driving at least once in their lifetime. Mark Rosekind is an NTSB board member. It doesn't matter what the circumstance, if you're not getting enough sleep, that's going to make you potentially dangerous on the road. You see this as a form of impaired driving, like uh, driving under the influence. And that's a great way to think about this. In, pack, in fact, impaired driving probably covers alcohol and drugs, distraction, and drowsy or fatigue driving as well. And that's the problem. 100,000 accidents a year can be attributed to drowsy driving and up to 5,000 to 6,000 fatal crashes. But the concern is those numbers may be conservative estimates. Now 23, Alex Noel is working as a welder and is fully recovered. But he'll never forget how close he came to closing his eyes forever. It really should have killed me. Um, I, was, I was extremely lucky. After about 24 hours awake, according to the Centers for Disease Control, fatigue impairment is equivalent to a blood alcohol content above the legal limit in all states. The NTSB also says even just two hours less sleep than you need in one night is enough to potentially impair your driving the next day. I think that's a really important warning because a lot of people are tired. And driving longer, yeah. right? Well, yeah, you're working longer hours, driving late at night. You think you can make it home? Yeah, and before you're you know this it, close. You, you think you accident. can push through it, and you're saying, Jeff, don't do that. No, you have to take a break. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned this, Charlie. Uh, if as I feel dry, I'd pull over in morning, noon, or night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Thank you so much. Good yeah. to see you.